all good just a week ago. At my house, we party every weekend, so on the radio. Hey honeys, it's Ams. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I am partnered with Love Me Hair. I really love their boxes, guys. Like their boxes are so cute. This is the Sugar Maple 4x4 Glueless Bob Wig. And what I like about it is that it's glueless. Okay, you can throw this hair on and go. And only thing I'm gonna do is a little styling. So I'm actually gonna show you how I style this in 10 minutes or less. And yeah, so this is a new wig. I'm gonna put a little bit of pomade on it and make sure I secure that part and put a little bit of concealer. And yeah, and flat iron the ends. But after this, it'll be like a basically ready to wear wig where you can pop it on and be ready to go in five minutes so that is gonna be everything I love a convenient wig I love a beginner friendly wig so let's get into it I had to take a moment to just show you the shine of this hair you see it and then also the cut because this cut is super bomb here's a close-up of the lace and this unit is already pre-plucked also, I just want to show you guys a little bit more of the hairline. Okay, so the best thing about wearing your hair glueless is having your band. So it's a good tight band. This band is actually not adjustable. It's just the band in the back of the wig. And I want to go ahead and hook the adjustable straps to make sure they're extra tight because when you're wearing your wig glueless, you want to make sure that these adjustable straps are also tight. So I'm gonna put them on the last notch. All right, perfect. Now, put it on. Just gonna comb it down a little bit. Now, one thing I will say, you definitely want to make sure when you have your bob that your braids are laid or either your hair is laid down as flat as it can be. Just make sure your hair is laid down flat when you want to wear your bob because you don't want your bob to be hiked up all right here. I needed flatter braids. But it's all good. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to let this stop us. Like this wig is not moving. It's not moving. That's perfect. I'm not plucking the hairline at all. You can pluck the hairline if you want to, but I'm gonna just wear a middle part. And so I'm not gonna focus on plucking it for this video. I love a statement wig. This is one of them. This is definitely one of them. I love it because it's like really pretty. The color is vibrant. So go ahead and take my hair clips and clip it back. So I make sure I don't clip any of this hair in the process. In. All right, here's the lace right here. I try to cut as close to the hairline as possible without cutting all the hair off the front. Look at this, I already cut the hair off the front. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't cut that much. I didn't cut that much. We good. It is just fine. Okay, so we're just gonna cut a little bit more. This is only four by four lace, so it's not a whole lot of cutting. That's why I say this is good for beginners. Like you don't feel intimidated about cutting off four by four lace. And then this is another trick of mine that I really like. I always go and I cut a little bit in to the middle part, just a little bit, because I'm wearing this as a middle part. And I've always noticed that it ends up making my hairline look more natural. I just have to make sure that my part is really good and defined. I am going to go in with my pomade real quick and just put pomade right through on this hair line up here. Okay, so now I'm just using my hot comb. Try not to burn the lace and try not to burn your forehead. Okay, both. You can actually put more height right there in the front of the hairline and have more volume or you can make it flat like I did. Just a little bit of pomade.
make sure you get that crown area because that's where we get the most hiking up. My hair is gonna hike up anyway because my braids are not as flat. Just a few more steps and we are almost done. Moving on to the Fit Me Powder. I just put a little bit of Fit Me Powder just because I like it to blend in as much as it can with my scalp. I'm just adding just a little bit of Fit Me Powder right here in my part. And that is it. I have to make sure that my bob frames my face. I promise you, if it doesn't frame my face, like I will curl these ends over and over again. I will not stop until it is basically perfect. Like, can't help it. Yes, and now it's time for a close up. No glue, no spray, no gel, basically no manipulation at all because only thing I did was add just a tad bit of Fibby Powder in my part. That's it. No bleaching, no tinting, none of that. So this is super beginner friendly. What more can I even say? Yes, this hair is silky, but also you see the movement. You see this hair moves, all right? When I'm shaking it, it is not stiff at all. Oh, look at the back. We're having a wig that's basically easy maintenance. So convenient because when you wanna get up and go, you can really get up and go with this wig. It's already basically in place. The hair quality feels really good. I like it because with color treated hair, you know, you never know what to expect sometimes. I definitely say if you're into bobs and you love a good ginger bob, this is a good time to consider this wig, okay? Because you will love it. You will really, really like this wig. I feel like it is framing my face. They had a good cut on it and everything. So what more can I say? Period. This hair is fire.